the rate of vaccinations around the country has sunk to new lows in recent weeks, threatening President Joe Biden's goal of 70% of American adults with at least one dose by July 4. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported on June 3 that 63% of adults had received their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, only slightly up from the 62% the week before. 12 states, including Utah, Oklahoma, Montana, the Dakotas, and West Virginia, have seen vaccinations sink to 15 daily shots in 10,000 residents. Alabama had just four people for 10,000 residents get vaccinated last week, according to data from the Washington Post. The low-hanging fruit. Those people who absolutely want to get vaccinated without you telling them anything, have already been vaccinated, which has led to the slowdown, Anthony S. Fauci, the government's top infectious diseases expert, said on a White House organized call with community leaders Friday, according to the Post. The White House has already made plans to combat the slowdown. Biden announced a month-long effort to encourage more Americans to roll up their sleeves for a shot last week. A report by the Pew Charitable Trust said after an initial sharp drop in tax revenue, 29 states recovered to take in as much or more during the peak pandemic period of March 2020 through February 2021 than they did during the previous 12 months. New coronavirus cases nationwide are down to about 15,000 per day on average, while deaths have plummeted to around 430 a day, levels not seen since the World Health Organization made the pandemic declaration on March 11, 2020. Britain's health secretary says the Delta variant, which is fast becoming the dominant coronavirus variant in the UK, is 40% more transmissible compared to the country's existing strains. He acknowledged Sunday that the rise in Delta variant cases may delay the government's plan to lift most remaining lockdown restrictions on June 21. During the throes of the COVID-19 pandemic, many parents, weary of monitoring their children's online classes, yearned for schools to reopen. Then vaccines expanded, schools reopened in many cities, and teachers returned, but huge numbers of students didn't. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group. For months, Mississippi Health Officer Thomas Dobbs has been pleading with Mississippians to get vaccinated against COVID-19. During a Friday afternoon discussion, he was firm, it's unacceptable Mississippi is last in the nation for fully vaccinated people. As of Friday afternoon, over 911,000 people were fully vaccinated in Mississippi or 29% of the population. But it lags behind the nation's average of 41%. There's no excuse for that, Dobbs said during the livestream talk with the Mississippi State Medical Association. I will personally drive up to your house to give you one.